Andy Dalton here on the Rich Eisen Show. How are you doing, Andy? Doing well. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Uh, how would you describe the first month of the season, Andy? Uh, uh, up and down, for sure. You know, it's uh, not the start that we wanted, but, um, you know, for us to, to come out and get a, a win yesterday is a, a much-needed win, and so hopefully we can use it as, as momentum going into this week. Well, it looks just from the naked eye that this offense uh, looks more crisp and you're more comfortable and everybody else is playing more comfortably in it. Uh, since the coordinator change with Bill Lazor, is that a fair assessment, Andy? Yeah, I, I think guys are, are playing with confidence, and uh, like I said, we're playing better. I think we're executing better as well, and so um, you know, whatever it, it takes at this point. I mean, for us, we we wanted to come out and get a win yesterday, and we we're able to do that. And so, um, yeah, we got to keep finding ways to win moving forward. Now, I understand when I ask a question that way, Andy. Look, I've, I've done this long enough <laughs> that if you gave an answer. Um, Um, in the affirmative that it would seem like you were throwing your old offensive coordinator under the bus. So let me put it this way. What, what, what are you guys doing differently uh, scheme wise over the last couple of weeks? Yeah, I think uh, for for us, things, things are matching up, running past uh, things look the same. So, um, you know, we're not giving any any tips there and, Uh uh, you know, so I I think, I think for us, I think it's uh, like I said earlier, part of it is just the execution of it. Uh, but other things, there are some things scheme-wise that, we're, that we are doing differently that uh, you know, we're trying to find a way to take advantage of the, the defensive looks that we're getting. Andy Dalton joining me here on the Rich Eisen Show. What about you personally? Um, I, I, I know when I was there uh, after that week two loss on Thursday night football in Cincinnati, there was a lot of folks uh, criticizing you publicly. How, how, do you hear that noise, Andy? I mean, it's hard not to hear it, even if you're trying not to, but you can't worry about it. All you can worry about is uh, doing what you know how to do. You know, I've, I've played this game long enough. I've been, I've been around a while now, and so, um, you know, I, I understand how, how it all works. And um, for me, I just put my head down work and, and try, try to find a way to, to win the next week and to, to play better. And so and I feel like we've done that the last couple of weeks. Obviously, we didn't win two weeks ago in Green Bay, uh, you know, the – uh, tough loss in overtime, but uh, we, we played a lot better, and so I think uh, we, we we played better the last two weeks, and we got to keep it going. What's your relationship with Marvin Lewis, Andy? We hear so much about quarterback coach relationships, and the you know they're they're always an offensive guru with the quarterback. Obviously, Marvin's got a defensive background. What is your relationship like with him? Yeah, we we've got a, a good relationship. There's a lot of uh, you know. Of, of back and forth talk when, when when things need to happen and things need to change and um, when, when we need to do things differently and so I think uh, we've got a great relationship and uh, you know that's grown as, as 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 time has gone on. Can you give me a for example? Like what does he say? I mean, when does he ch- when does he chime in? Uh, I feel like you know he's not someone that's saying something all the time, especially to the offense. You know, like you said, he's a defensive-minded coach. But when he feels that like it's necessary that uh, things need to be said, he, he's going to say it. And so, um, yeah, it's hard to think of just a specific example right now. But uh, it's just kind of how, how his personality is and, and how he handles things here. And then one thing that definitely impressed uh, upon me and, and impressed me was when things were going uh, brutally. There's no other way to put it to start the season. A.J. McCarron came out and said, yeah, you know what? I'd like to start, but I love Andy Dalton. He's a friend. He's uh, our quarterback. And everybody should pipe down and row in the same direction. That What did that mean to you to hear that, Andy? Yeah, you know, A.J. and I have, have a great relationship. Ever since he's been here, um, you know, we've, we've become good friends. And so, uh, I mean, for him to come out and say that, it obviously means a lot. You have the support of uh, – you know, the guy that's the backup, but also uh, a teammate. And so, um, you know, it meant a lot that he would say something like that. You're, you're a competitor, though, too. Do you ever want to just pound your chest and say, you know, I've done some stuff around here? Do you ever want yeah, to do I mean, something like that? <laughs> I, th- I think there's some times where it's, uh, you know, when things aren't going exactly the way you want them to, everybody uh, everybody forms an opinion. But, you know, I feel like we've we've accomplished a lot since I've been here, and I've been able to do uh, do, do some good things here. And so... That's one of the things where you don't worry about what everybody's saying. You just go out and, and uh, you know, find a way to, to play the best you can. Andy Dalton joining me here on the Rich Eisen Show. So um, now you got the Buffalo Bills. I don't know if you you were playing at the same time that they were playing as well. They just had a very impressive victory, and they're feeling very good about themselves with their new head coach coming in. What challenges do they present to you this week, Andy? 
Yeah, they're really good defensively, and obviously when uh, you know they can slow down an offense like Atlanta, um, you know obviously they're, they're doing something right, and I uh, know that they can can get after the quarterback and uh, can rush the passer really well, and so um, you know we'll, we'll kind of see once we we'll watch some film on these guys and come up with a game plan. I'm sure we'll have something that uh, we'll be ready for him for. And, and AJ Green, um, is he a happier guy when the ball is fed his way? And he's very quiet, but he was a little bit vocal a couple weeks ago. Is he a better? Is he be just easier to be around when he gets fed the football? Yeah, I think that's one thing about it, about AJ is uh, you know he he's a, he's a team guy. All he cares about is winning. But uh, when he feels like he can, he can do some things to help us win, I think he became a little vocal, and uh, it, it's what we needed. And so, um, but yeah, I mean, you want to get him the ball as much as you can because he's the best player on our offense. And we're talking about young running backs and the difference that they've been making all over the place. Rookie running backs. You've got one in Joe Mixon. How has he mixed in with the team, Andy, since uh, coming off the campus at Oklahoma and uh, a lot discussed about his past and his background? You know, it's it's one of those things. A lot of people talked about it with, with him coming here and, and, and his past. Obviously, he did something that uh, – you know, is wrong, and uh, you know he can't get that back. But you know he's trying to do everything he can now to prove that he's a changed person, and you know he's not going to let anything like that happen again. But you know I think he was well received from the beginning. I think we've got a lot of good teammates on the team to, to surround him and uh, kind of like um, you know keep put him under our wing and uh, and help him out. But uh, you know he's done a, he's done a great job ever since he's been here. He's he's a super talented guy and. Um, yeah, uh, I'm glad we, we've got we've got a guy like that. Before I let you go, TCU sitting there eighth in the top 25 uh, in the college football poll. Um, do you think that they've got uh, a a playoff team? In yeah, TCU, I, I hope so. I think uh, they're, they're going to have some some tests for, uh, coming up. Obviously, they got West Virginia this week, and I think game day's there, so there'll be a lot of uh, a lot of excitement around that and. Um, but they're playing well. I know Coach Patterson is going to get his guys ready. Uh, he always does, and uh, I'm excited to, to watch to see how the season plays out. Yeah, I'm sure you're you're going to be watching them when they take on Baker Mayfield. What do you think of that kid, Andy? Watching him play at the at the collegiate level. Yeah, I mean he he's played really well. It's uh, one of those guys. He kind of does it all. I mean he's uh, you know he he can run, he can throw. Um, you know he just kind of makes stuff happen. And uh, you know, for him to get to, to get that big win he had at Ohio State, and um, and just the way they played, I, I think you know he's he's really talented, and uh, I know that they've got a really good team. So then maybe you know next win that you have, uh, where you feel that you've been wronged and you've been doubted, Andy. Why don't you just take the Bengals flag and plant it in take the middle the of the field? Take the flag and just plant it in the middle of the opposing yeah, teams. Uh, yeah, would you do that? Line? Do that in Pittsburgh. What do you think if you beat the Steelers in a couple of weeks? How do you think yeah. that would? How do you think that would go over? <laughs> Yeah, I think that'd go over really well. I think uh, I think everybody would love it. <laughs> Just well, I didn't T. I think in, in the previous Bengals iteration, T.J. Hushmanzada wiped his feet with the terrible towel, and he's still public enemy number one up there in Western PA for it. Yeah, I so. think uh, if, if you do anything with that terrible towel, they're gonna they're gonna react to that. <laughs> <laughs> Take care of yourself, Andy. Good chatting yep. with you. Thanks, Rich. You got it. At Andy Dalton, 14 on Twitter. The Rich Eisen Show. Weekdays at noon Eastern on radio stations across the country and audience. If you like that, please download our app. There's lots of fun things there other than just more of the videos you just saw. You can call us from the app. You can email us from the app. Just download it. Trust me, you'll enjoy it.